In this video tutorial, we'll show you how to use conditional fields in one span sign. With conditional fields, one span sign gives you the power to create dynamic documents that allow you to enforce conditional logic to the signing workflow. When creating transactions, you can configure conditions for fields to be enabled or disabled based on the signer's responses to other fields. In this example, we want to send a mortgage renewal document that includes fields that will be enabled depending on the signer's entry in the trigger field that matches the configured conditional logic. Let's take a closer look at how to use conditional fields in this example. To get started, select New Transaction and enter a name for your transaction. Click the Create button to proceed. Now it's time to add a document to your transaction. Click the Add button to upload a document from your files. Next, add your recipient to the transaction. Click Next to prepare your document for signature. Conditional logic can be used for signature fields, signer initials fields, text fields, text areas, checkboxes, radio buttons, lists, and label fields. In this example, we'll use conditional logic to trigger a text field to be enabled when the signer selects a specific radio button. We'll designate a field name for the text field. We'll call it Details1. Finally, let's designate a field name for the radio button. We'll call it Yes1. After designating the field names, now it's time to add conditional logic to the fields. In this example, if the signer selects the Yes 1 radio button option, the text field will be enabled in the document. Let's save our settings. Additionally, we'll configure conditional logic with a list and a text box. Depending on which option the signer chooses from the list, the text box will either appear as a required field or an optional field. We'll designate names for the list options. Now let's designate a field name for the text field. We'll call it Phone Number. In this example, if the signer selects Yes from the list, a text field will be enabled in the document as a required field for the signer to add their phone number details. If the signer selects No, the text field will be enabled as an optional field. Let's save our settings. The transaction is ready to send. We'll click Send to Sign to distribute the document for signing. In the first question, if the signer selects the Yes radio button, the text field will automatically be enabled to include additional details. In the second question, if the signer selects Yes from the list, the text field will be enabled as a required field so he can add his phone number. Visit our support center for more video tutorials about one span sign.